Hello everyone, to my channel. Today I'm doing a reading for Sign of Capricorn. Keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Capricorn. If you'd like a personal reading, that is going to be the first link in the description down below. Repeat that first link in the description down below for personal reading. You'll also find a bunch of other things in the description there. You can find my Etsy shop, which has my tarot, my oracle cards on there. My holographic stickers, as well as a mini holographic version of my oracle cards. My pins, which are acrylic pins, so we have the Green Man pin. Serapis Bay pin. White Raven pin. All that's in the description down below. On the Etsy shop, you can also find my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon. All that's in the description down below. And if you'd like donating to the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate your donations. Here's some Capricorn. Let's see what spirit has in store for yourself. Number 42, a dragon's pet. Communication between species, animals, pets, magical companions, guardianship. Number 21, with crystal magic. Creation, dawn, the beginning. Number 4, with story keeper. Tell your story, legacy, write your wisdom. Number 19, with fairy tales. Letting go, detachment, moving on. Number 27, with carry me home. Support, time to be carried, allow others to help. Number 2, with solace. Return to nature, true wisdom. Wisdom. Natural Remedies, Flower Essences. Or 12 with Gossamer Princess, Communication, Relationship, Work to be Done. Or 16 with Her Special Place, Find Your Own Safe Space Inside and Out. Like, there's a big theme here on returning to nature and natural sort of remedies, with solace being there, crystal magic, even crystals being there. Kind of writing down with what you already know. And I feel like you're kind of letting go of things that do not serve you anymore with that fairy tales and then Her Special Place. Now, we do have some sort of relationship coming up ahead for you. Gossamer Princess would carry me home. That's quite funny here, Capricorn. I do feel like there's going to be someone newer, but what I feel like, I feel like you're letting go of, like, the past just for it to try to return back to you. Number five, the secret doorway, working with intuition, second sight opening, dimensional doorways. Number eight, with cry for nature, mourning for something sacred which seems lost, and this came out in reverse, however. Number 37, keeper of secrets, use your discernment, confide in a trusted friend, keep silent about knowledge. Number 35, with stardust, premonition, galactic communication, beginning and endings. 47, the gift, a present, an offer, nurturance, growth, potential. Or 22, which is an important number. Snail's pace, slow down, grounding, listen for the heartbeat of the Earth's subtle energies. Or 14, with light, the darkness, ancestors, ancestral line, generational shift. Or 34, with glimpse, indigo, rainbow, crystal children, and beyond. Okay, Capricorn, there's a bunch of things happening here. You have a secret doorway being open for you. Okay? Which feels like a gift, like a spiritual door is being open for you. I see you no longer mourning for loss of something. Okay? And it's you connecting more with your ancestors more. This is something, however, uh, to keep secret about is wanting to point out to you. Keeper of secrets. And I feel like you may be having visions of future children or future generations with Glimpse being here. Premonition. Thirteen with catch me, trust, surrender, leap of faith into the unknown. Or twenty with the littlest fairy, appreciate the beauty and value of the exquisite and small. Or thirty-one with beauty and the beast, unconditional love. Or twenty-five with the grail fairy, fertility, return of life, health, life cycles. Or sixteen, or not sixteen, just six. Dark moon, maturation, growing up, introspection, know thyself. Or 23 with follow me. Come, this is your invitation to enter the realm of the fairy. Or 38 with green man's bride. Sacred union, commitment ceremony, maturing into deep relationship. 
or 44, which is an important number, the secret path, an irresistible pull down a distinct path, ley lines, mythical traditions. You're feeling, you're feeling a really strong pull towards something, Capricorn. I want you to go towards that pull. It's pulling you for a reason here. All right, that might be this doorway opening up for you. Just kind of jump into it, because it's an invitation here from the green man, from the fairy realm, from all those spiritual realms here, okay? Which can actually end up leading to unconditional love here in a deep relationship. I also feel like there's a lot of maturation going on for you. Must be that of fertility there as well with the Grail Fairy. We're 41 with mother and daughter, mothering, teaching, sharing knowledge, nurturing self with. We're 46 fairy lovers, new love, courtship, romance, falling in love. Or 45, a gatekeeper. Fairy time, time shifts, dimensional slips. Or 26, with little boy blue, dreams come true, return of the soul. Or 32, beauty's truth, beauty, physical pleasure, sensua sensuality. Or 18, with scared to fly the right moment, sensing out the right timing. Or 28, with once was innocent, knowledge means change. Or 17, acorns, invitation, touch, exchange, connection. You have a connection here. Okay. Feels like new love, Capricorn. That's this pole you're feeling down towards, right? Maybe this is a dream come true for you. But I see you kind of being unsure whether or not to approach this new love, what to do it. Like, it feels like you're going to be sensing out the right timing on exactly when to make a move, I guess. Okay? But there is a connection here that you're feeling very pulled towards. You're feeling pulled towards that for a reason. Okay? Must be something about your mother or your daughter here. I think it'll be fine, but I was wanting to point that out as well. So, let's get some room and some charms for yourself. We have this dragon moon star here. So, you're connected with the dragon, which we do see the dragon here twice. The moon, and then the star. It can be like wishing upon a star, or the dragon, like I said before. It can be the Chinese zodiac sign of the dragon, Merlin's dragon, a bunch of different dragons we have. Uh, it can represent power, strength, good luck, supernatural powers. Also, we have the rainbow, which can represent ascension. Then we have the Chinese zodiac sign of the monkey. We have Virgo, so you can have those placements, or the one around you. We have Bastet. Yeah, there's going to be movement. It's just it, it's movement. Movement through this. Okay? So, that is all I have for you. And like I said, first link in the description down below for personal reading. Also, go to my Etsy shop, go on and go buy something. Really appreciate that. And if you want to see more content, give a like, subscribe. Bye, guys.